In this lesson, we'll go through two examples related to radiocarbon dating. Question 1 reads, a skull believed to belong to an ancient human being is found to have a carbon-14 decay rate of 4.50 disintegrations per minute per gram of carbon. If living organisms have a decay rate of 15.3, how old is the skull? And the important part here is what's written in this parentheses. The decay rate is directly proportional to the amount of carbon-14. So you can say that the amount of carbon-14 initially is 15.3. And remember the formula for exponential decay. It looks like this, where we have y is equal to, y is the final amount, then we have a, which is the initial amount, and we can say that the initial amount at death was 15.3, e to the power of negative n t, where n represents the rate per year and t represents the amount of years. So what they're looking for is t. Now to find n, we use the formula half-life is equal to ln 2 over n. So the rate is right underneath here. And to solve for n, we need the half-life of carbon. The half-life of carbon, you can find it in any textbook. I'll be using 5,730 years. So I'll replace this with 5,730 years is equal to ln 2 per n. We'll solve for n by multiplying both sides by n and then subsequently dividing both sides by 5,730. Let's turn on our calculator. ln 2 divided by 5,730 and we get 1.2096 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So I'll take this number and place it right into where I see this n. Let's go ahead and rewrite that. y is equal to 15.3 times e raised to the power of negative, this number 1.2096, 1.2096 times 10 raised to the power of negative 4t. Now we have to solve for t, and we first divide both sides by 15.3, because that will cancel it out on the right side. So 15.3 cancels out with this, 15.3. Let's go ahead and calculate that. 4.5 divided by 15.3 gives us the following fraction, 5 over 17. Let me write that down, 5 over 17, and on the right side, we're left with that expression. Perfect. To solve for E, we will lawn both sides because that will cancel out Euler's number. By lawning this side, we end up with a number. And by lawning this side, that cancels out with that, leaving us with this expression as the only expression underneath here. And the left side, of course, remains the way it is. We have one more step. We divide both sides by this factor. So let's go ahead and find out what ln 5 over 17 is. A negative number, and we divide this by another negative number. Make sure that it's in parentheses, otherwise your calculator might give you the wrong answer. And watch, we end up with 10,117 years. We need this to three significant figures. So 1.01 .01 times 10 raised to the power of four years. That's the answer to question number one. If you'd like to see the solution to question number two, make sure that you watch question two of the series where we cover the answer. See you soon.